one of the most frustrating things that I'm seeing traders do all the time um, is not taking the profit and then chasing the pumps on all these penny stocks. It, it's it's so frustrating. I'm going to go over the exact system. I see why did algos take it here and then we keep going down and down and down. Um, so here's FFIE. It's the biggest pump of the penny stock of the year. Everyone got hyped about it. As you can see, this thing had made a massive move. Um, with the reverse split happening, it's one buck and fifty to all the way to hundred fifty six dollars. And the problem with this stock is, even though it made the mass, the biggest pump the whole year of pennies, people actually lost a lot of money on this stock. And you might be asking, like. You know, in my mind, I'm like, how the heck did we lose money on this? It's because when this starts pumping, they take some gains and then they're like, holy crap, it's going again. And then they get in again and again and again. And some people have it way up in here. And then they just, it's just started going down. The fun's over. We knew the fun was going to be over. The experienced traders knew it. The ones that just got into trading, had no idea about it, had all these content creators, all these pumpers saying, this thing is going higher. It's going higher. And it's so frustrating because I try to make a, a um, try to warn people on this one and it just didn't matter as you know the hopium got too much and this was probably one of the biggest stocks that people lost into and a lot of retail traders got screwed and a lot of people say well the market's just rigged well look at what look what, what look what happened here um plenty of money to be made and so why did price go to where in um so in, in all those areas this is literally algo driven um as you can see when um, price goes way above the ATR4, nobody should buy this ever. Th this is a, not a swing trade. I've seen these stocks plummet down 50, 60 percent after hours or, or, or opening. It's just too risky. And I actually have, you know, looking was um, looking to short uh, FFIE when it was way above in this area, as this was just overextension. I don't just short or buy when it hits these bands. Uh, the red band is a short zone. The green band is a buy zone. And I can show you plenty of examples where you can make massive money. Um, on this stock as it respects it when we don't touch this ema5 in a couple days you know you got to realize is price is going to come back tumbling down to that so what happens is we get above it can't it can't sustain it so we come tumbling back down and, and as you can see we close right here and then we go up and then we come tumbling down to this five oftentimes you get a little bounce and then we come to the 10 a little bounce and then the 20 but as you can see the 20 is your full reversion to the mean that's where algos have to take it that's where it will go to and the more the better you know that the more knowledge you'll have over a lot more people so um and this is what this is what happened and then since we're not hitting this bottom band is you got to look at well what is the trend where you know that's the only way you're going to get precise entry so use a trend channel and, and, and see what's happening as you can see all throughout here we had a, a upper thing here yes it can go above it but a lot of times it comes back into the channel this is your resistance all throughout here so once price pulls back and we're not touching this bottom buy zone then there is other ways to trade it and as you can see here we have the support support and we come back to the upper channel and then right in here was one of my best signals to buy as because not only did we get close to this bottom band but i'll show you guys something interesting and something that always works so if we know that the algos are going to hit the ema 5 10 and 20 and it's bizarre if we don't hit the ema 5 and 7 daily candles and we're near this bottom band which is an extremely bullish especially after reverse split what happens is you get the biggest pumps after those. So like I tell people, um, what is your target? Well, my target is always the finalized EMA 20. Anything above this EMA 20 is a cherry on top of the ice cream. You should never, ever look for more gains above this. If you do, then, you know, just be happy. But the, the, the gains that you should be taking is the 5, the 10, and the 20, and you scale out appropriately. So right in here, we hit the 20. How convenient the algos did it to a T. Right in here, we hit the 20, and we go down. Right in here, we hit the 20, we went down. So we hit the 20, we went down. So what is the theory that you should be assuming that we should, you know, oftentimes don't expect to get above the 20, you know, especially with FFIE, unless there's some crazy catalyst, most of the time don't expect it. So we haven't hit the EMA 5. As you can see, we're clearly touching the 5 here, and we haven't hit it for quite some time. Anything that don't do it in 7 daily candles is long, but we want to look for what? We want to make, if we're not touching this bottom band, what the heck is the trend channel saying? And we can clearly see um, when we draw these trend channels, um, what, what is going on with the price action? Uh, so right in here. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. So this is what's going to say. But um, the thing that's going to conquer that 
is definitely the ATR4. Because a lot of times the channel will be like right in here and just barely miss it. But we know that the, the main theory is we're going to hit the 5, the hit, the 10, and the 20. But we had a very conservative target to the EMA5. We don't know exactly when it's going to happen. I'm not going to say, you know, you can it's going to do this at this exact time. But this gain alone was a 65% move from the low. If we go to the 10, that's 120. To the 20, that's a 226%. And the full move went up 331%. And the problem is people still lost money on this as people chase this stock. And because they don't know the rules I have, they don't know the strict discipline, they don't understand anything on top of here is a cheering on the ice cream, and they start buying up in here because they say, oh, FFIE is alive. It, you know, you had the biggest pump. Maybe this is the pump that's going to happen. And guess what happens? They start back holding, and the algos get them again. And as you can see, price is extremely boring. Nothing's happening. The best trades are going to be near this bottom band here with time distance not hitting the EMA 5, 10, and 20. But now you can see we hit the 20, we hit the 10 over here, and we're right on the 5. So I got to give that time. I, I would like to see we here. So a lot of people ask, well, what's going on with FFAE? Would you trade it? I mean, if you didn't make gains here, you know, you know, just learn from it. Take the loss. Move on. There's plenty of other trades to make your money on. The worst thing to happen is just dead money. Down, down, down. And you're just holding when you could be playing other trades to make you money. Even if you're down 50, 80%, take the loss, move on, and never do that mistake again. Never listen to pumpers because they don't care about you. They, they're just, they're just there to make you have, you know, a bunch of hopium. That, and there's nobody, you know, that has no idea where the heck this is going. Anybody that says this thing is going to keep going and going and up, they have no idea what they're saying. We know where price has to go back to. That's the reversion of the mean. We don't know a specified time, but I do know what is a long amount of time. And if you look at the prior data of this strategy, look at this. Every time we get close to the ATR. Uh, this HR4 customized band that you, if you join the Discord, you'll have these settings. I'll set it up for you. Um, you can see where the big pumps are coming. You can see where the sellers are getting exhausted. What is happening? I mean, look at this. If you stick to the A plus setups, what is happening right here? Sellers exhausted, massive time distance, one, two, three, four, five, with an HR4 touch. What happens here? You get a pump of 50%, and it's happening over and over and over again with this stock it's just been absolutely beautiful and you only take the a plus setups and that's how strict you have to be with penny stocks every time i am not strict with a penny stock and i try to be like oh this is close enough i lose in a trade if you stick with these precise systems here and you'd be like wow look at this beautiful setup reverse split right in here if it goes a little lower um you, you accumulate some um and like i said look at the moves that you can get a 300 percent move from here i would have scaled out well before that um, because obviously this is a cherry on the I would have took the five and the ten, uh, took the five, scale some more out at the ten, and hold smaller and smaller size. So I hope you guys learned from FFIE. Um, it's just I, I've been through this. Trust me, way back I, I've been through it. I've I've done it, and I, I you know I I I told myself I would never do it again. I will find a strategy that makes consistent returns. That's no FOMO and has real profit targets. Because a lot of people come into a trade, there's no plan. Without a plan, you already lost your trade. They're like, well, what, what's your plan? You're trying to make 50%, 100%, you know, 500%, you know, and, they, and they're just unrealistic. And a lot of people just say, well, I'm just going to see what happens. And then when it starts going down, they have no risk management. Well, they, they just keep holding it and it, it just whatever happens, happens. And that's not how you're supposed to keep trading. So there is strong support right in here. Um, I don't really trade based on this as a lot of retail traders do this. I don't do the normal things retail traders do. When I do, I, I tend to lose. A lot of times this will get you a lot of times stopped out. But yes, there's basic risk support right here. We have a little bit of time distance from the 20. So your end target should be the 20. I don't think it's a great setup. Um, there's a lot of other setups I see that I think you might like better. So um, yeah, that's my analysis on FFIE. If you guys want to join the best Discord out there, definitely click the link down below in the YouTube description and in the YouTube comments. I'll have it pinned. It'll say join the premium Discord for my lurks and system. It'll have the, it'll take you to this free chat landing page. Please read how to subscribe if you have an Android. You'll have to do it on your Google, uh, your phone's browser, or just on a computer, which is the easiest. Um, avoid scammers. I will never message you first or DM you. Send you a friend request or tell you I'm going to trade your account. You know, I will never trade your guys' accounts. Uh, I, I know that's a big scam happening. Just keep in mind, all my pro payments is, is processed safely with Discord. If you hit the server shop on the top left, you I'll teach you guys how to be 
trade like a pro with a service that works and teach you how to fish because more importantly this is not about giving alerts yes i will do that but it's more importantly can you see the setup for yourself do you understand why i want to take the setup and if it meets an a plus setup you know it's just a probability game and then that's really all there is to it so day and swing trading plus is 12 bucks a month um it's the highest service day trading is my best service i love day trading if you lost a lot of money in ffie I promise you, you'll get it back fast in day trading. Even a small $1,000 account can go up to $4,000 in a month as I, as I have done that. And that's the power of day trading because I'm using the same rules, same strategies, lower time frames, and I'm in and out of trades within minutes doing options. I think you guys are going to love it. So 12 bucks a month, you'll get access to everything. If you subscribe on your computer, it's cheaper and it's the best to avoid the iOS fee. If you do it on your phone through the app, it'll charge you a little more. But you're gonna get day trade alerts that win consistently a lot of a lot of the times. Um, you're also gonna get swing trade alerts, uh, uh, stock suggestions, what we're talking about, and um, swing trading education. Watch all these videos along with day trading education. Like I said, day trading is my theme. I love day trading the most. I hate holding stocks overnight because I can't control it. Whereas day trading, I feel like I have more control of proper risk risk management, and I'm making plenty and you know tons and tons and tons and, and tons of uh, more gains and you can look at my rtk journal i'll just show you a brief example of what the day trades have been doing run over 25 win streak here making 10 to 20 percent gains and as you can see that is massive just constantly making 10 to 20 percent gains around two to three times a day doing that so i hope you do decide to join um it's really nice guys i think you guys can really love it um so yeah this is ffie analysis we're right on basic support here so i just want to make a video about this obviously your best trades are going to be if you follow my system uh hitting this uh, bottom band here with time distance as that's when the big moves are happening these big moves aren't happening based on these little res support and resistance areas so um hope you guys enjoyed this video join the discord i think you guys are going to love it you'll make your money back fast um rip the band-aid off if you're in ffie and if you had a loss just let it go i promise you it'll make your mentality a lot better and you'll make some money instead of having just dead money every day um also guys if you guys want to give this video a like subscribe comment i'll keep you guys updated on the best stocks best day trading strategies and all that and i think you guys are going to love it and uh thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the discord peace out